trailer has dropped. Yes. All right, drop it. All drop right, it let's do us. it. Fury. Since you've been right. gone. Super spy extraordinaire. Did he say okay, since so you've been gone? So we're getting weird. Kelly Clarkston soundtrack in this. Since you've been gone. Uh huh. I can't breathe for. No. I thought it was the yeah. other one. I thought it was the other since you've been gone. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. So I noticed that in that opening scene, he was wearing his eye patch, and I read an article the other day that said that he was not going to be wearing his eye patch, and they seemed to make a big point out of that. He won't have it on for the entire movie. So what does that mean? Is yes, I think Nick does... Fury the, the fake scroll Nick Fury? It, it means the That's path of we're... the righteous man is beset on all sides by the tyranny of... Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and fatherly fandom is still typing out lyrics to Kelly Clarkson. Thank you so much, fatherly fandom. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, so you know, yeah, he yeah. will sing it. He will. Don't worry about it. I, I think Doug may may be right about something. It may be how the audience tells Scroll Fury from the real yeah. Nick Fury. It may be our little you know nod at us or whatever. But let's. I think we already seen this scene before. Yeah, it's obviously Peter Quill. Well. Okay. <laughs> so things Boom. are getting blown up. Okay. Oh, you think I came back? Duncan and the Winter Soldier. Got it. Okay, fake Nick Fury. You're in no shape for this Marvel fight that lies before us. Mm -hmm. okay. Marvel studs. Oh, my. See, they're cheating as I think. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is... Sorry, that was another first job. Very few of us know about the wars fought what? in the shadows and Nick Fury raged on this planet. Yeah, this is um, Civil War, remember? No, I don't. He, they had a tombstone for him at the end because he wanted everyone to think he was No, dead. no, that was Winter Soldier. Did you say Civil War? I did say is Civil War. Yeah, I meant Winter okay. Soldier. Mm. Okay, yeah. It's yeah, that was the Pulp... Watch that movie. The Pulp Fiction nod on his thing, The Path of the Righteous uh, Man. Okay. And we did get some repeat scenes, like when, uh, I forget the actor's name, who is a tremendous actor. Ben Mendelsohn. comes everybody. No, well, the guy talking about Oh, the other guy. Okay, yeah. gotcha. But Ben Mendelsohn, also a wonderful actor. Oh, look at that. <gasps> Clones. And just so you know. Hey, I wonder, hold on. Nice. Olivia Coleman. That's not Olivia Coleman. It was when I was on it. <laughs> How convenient. She-Ra. So, look at that. Is yes. that incubation cubes for Super Scrolls? No, that's incubation cubes for Palpatine. <laughs> Technology that they're doing, the they're doing a crossover. <laughs> they Still finally listened to. Finally listen to Pat Oswald's filibuster from Parks and Rec. Look, we've been wondering how somehow Palpatine returned. Well, here we go. Yeah. Nice. But I wonder, because, you know, it would be kind of cool if they, this set of scrolls, and by the way, uh, Kira, Al 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 Amelia Clark, has been confirmed to be uh, Talos's daughter. Kira, okay. I think it's K Kira or Kira, something along those lines. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Because a lot of people thought she was going to be Abigail Brand for a long time, and that has been debunked. She's, she is a scroll. She is Talos' daughter. So remind me again, what is a super scroll? Do you feel the a super scroll, the original super scroll, had all the powers of the Fantastic Four. Okay. And there have been others since then. One of them has some of the powers of the X-Men. You know, some of them are just sort of like super strength or, you know, one hero. Oops. But basically mm -hmm. they found a way... Clert, who is the first Super Scroll, they found a way to give him all of the powers of the Fantastic Four. So he had the thing strength, human torches, invisibility, four shields, and stretching. So is this going to, I'm curious, is this going to tie into um, every, all of these mentions that we've been getting uh, lately in Disney Plus shows? About <coughs> oh, I shouldn't force strangle him while he's trying to talk. <clears throat> You really shouldn't. About uh, mutagenic strains, like, what well, we got in Miss Marvel. 
We have the little uh, X Men sting. Do, 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 Is it going to be do, do, do. the scrolls? Are they the ones that are going to force some sort of genetic mutation in humanity with their experimentation of trying to give superpowers to their scrolls? I don't know how that would give anything to humans. Because they're going to. Eh? Oh. Eh? Okay. No, there we go. I thought that was there the creed go. that did that. Yeah. It was. But hey, the scrolls can do it too. Whatever the Cree can do, the scrolls can do too. They can do that. Be... The scrolls can do better. <laughs> <laughs> not, not that I am speaking on the scrolls' behalf or anything. It's not like no, you I mean, scroll I person. That's the point. Where are the Avengers? This deal is this war is one I have to fight alone. You know, it's funny that he says this is a war that I have to fight alone because reports have been coming out that there's going to basically be no can no superhero cameos. Or I shouldn't say cameos. Superheroes are not going to be in this. This is going to be not a superpowered slugfest type show. It's going to be more behind the scenes, infiltration. Like you know. thing, right? Yeah, exactly. And I am all for that. If they do that, if yes. they pull that off well, it's going to be great. And so far, the yeah, teaser we got, and now the trailer... You would have to do it as well. Yep. You're the most wanted man on the planet. You don't know what they have planned for you. You think. You think in all this time he would have developed some sort of technology that would be able to sense uh, the difference between a squirrel and a human. Well, like I remember. What you were talking about, uh, I was going to say. Thing, and how they in found the a first. Way to, yeah, in the first Secret Invasion comic, Reed Richards found a way to find, you know, basically scan and find out if it's a mm -hmm. scroll or not. In the new Secret Invasion comic that just came out, they've just figured out that the scrolls have beaten it. So that is, you know, the thing. And the same thing happened on Picard, which I thought, I, I talked about, it's so weird that it happened in the new Secret Invasion comic that just came out. Mm -hmm. And then in the new Picard series, because in the Picard series, once again, spoilers, I apologize, I didn't want to watch it. The changelings have evolved and are able to beat the scanners that every starship in the Federation has. So I wonder if we will get something at the end of this, Doug, where we can tell, like maybe Talos helps Nick Fury figure out, here's something you can use to find out if someone's really a scroll, and then we'll know if they're lying. The great Nick Fury. Did I see Maria? Oh, there. What's her name? yeah, you did see Maria Hill. Now, what was that? Uh, what was that whole, you know, the stretchy doodly doo going on? What was all that? Well, that there, looks yeah, like that? a that to me looks like a super, super scroll. scroll. Uh huh. Yeah. With Reed Richards' powers. It well, he turned into spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out. Uh, Nick will just be Wanda. I need your assistance. He's here right now. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta turn this guy into spaghetti for me. One last fight. Oh, that's interesting. Him saying one last fight, I wonder if... He's gonna die. Or just retire into, you know... Retire to the moon to become the new Watcher. Yes. That, Which that did happen in the comics. <laughs> oh, I know. Him and uh, Captain America be up there? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> and yes, that I definitely... That. that definitely seems like a super scroll. Yeah. 100%. Is that the end of it? That was the end of it, I think. Wow, I expected yeah, it to be... Where's wrong. the end credit scene? Of the trailer. Let's see. Let's see if there is one. Oh, Disney. Oh, my God. Can you guys believe it? Disney is going to do this. No. What? Fury. Oh, That's it. Uh, Since you've been gone. Well, I just expected like a two minute trailer. Things have gotten much worse. It was about two minutes. 
Really? Wow, 10 clubs. Yeah. Should have gotten more. Who's that? That's Maria Hill. Yeah. I do. You know, we did. We didn't get much more out of this than what we got out of the first one. We did get that, what we're thinking is a super scroll. We did find out that Kelly Clarkson will be part of the soundtrack. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say uh, part of the new MCU. And, uh, <laughs> are they, you know, they going to use every version of uh, that song? <laughs> yes. Gone. I'm waiting for the epic version. Like what they do with uh, with all of the big uh, MCU movie trailers. Since you've been gone, bum bum bum, <laughs> acapella. <laughs> I can't <laughs> breathe for the first time. Right. It's just gonna echo, echo, <laughs> echo. Right. <laughs> and yeah, fatherly fandom. That did what any good trailer does. Makes you want more. That I, I mean, the soundtrack, the score that they were playing during that really set up. It's going to be hopefully tension throughout that whole series because obviously, who can you trust? Do 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 do. You couldn't Look, hear it, Keith. No, if I turn it up, then I get that echo sound like last week. Obviously, you can trust anybody. Really, what is life if not just trusting everyone that you speak to? In fact, I regularly, uh, you know, if I get lost, I talk to adults, especially those in windowless vans with candy. <laughs> Listen, Doug. I'm sorry, scroll, Doug. I know you're saying to trust everybody because you keep telling me that there's a present in your basement that I should go get. Uh huh. <laughs> you you really got to come down here and get it. Don't oh, do it, man. You, are you, are you, you free tomorrow? Scroll. <laughs> I know Dave seems to tell me not to, but I like presents a lot. Do you like surprises? I love surprises. Oh, oh, oh. You're, you're gonna be really surprised. Surprise. <laughs> If you go over there, you have a really good surprise for you. Well, there it is, folks. That uh, have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> but once again, I mean that I'm kind of shocked. You're right. There was a lot of repeat footage from the first one. It was only about two minutes long. Mm -hmm. Now we do have almost what two and a half months, well, almost three months until it does come out. So maybe we will get something else before it does come out because the first one came out like last November, I think. Yeah, it was a while. And then this just came out. So we may get something else prior to it actually dropping June 21st, which, you know, it's only April probably 7th. Will. we got plenty of time. Oh, Don't want to no, hype it some more. I was just about to say, speaking of hyping, what is your current hype level at, Mr. Keith? Let's see, for Secret Invasion... Mm -hmm. I think my hype level is probably about an eight or eight and a half right now. I mean, everything we've seen has looked good, and it's what I would expect out of a secret invasion. So my hype level is pretty high. How about is you? Is that on the Doug scale? Yes, that is on the Doug scale. What about you, Dave? Uh, I'm with Keith. I'd say, yeah, I'm up at 8.5. I think this is the most promising Disney Plus MCU show that I've seen yet. Hmm. I am surprisingly uh, beneath you guys as far as uh, ratings go. Gross. Um, I'm feeling at about a 6.57. Wow. What's going on there, Doug? Explain. I'm just, I'm not hyped for it yet. Uh, you know, it, it hasn't fully drawn me in. I mean, it looks like it might be okay. You know, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a decent show. Check it out. But nothing about it so far has really said... This is going to be an amazing viewing experience. It's going to be like the best thing that you've seen for Marvel TV. I'm just like, okay, looks all right so far. All right, so you're tempering your expectations so that when it actually mm -hmm. happens, you're going to be like, oh, my God, this is Andor. Maybe. We'll see. Well, and it could be. See, I, I sometimes it's funny. Sometimes I watch a trailer, and if there's a lot of like, whoa, I can't believe that, I think, okay, this movie's going to be terrible. And they're trying to get everyone in opening weekend by showing you this stuff. They haven't really showed as much of anything. Mm -hmm. Which almost makes me think that they're just, they're we're giving it nothing in. away. We want, you know, we want that surprise as things are found out. They're not giving anything away. Now, we know that Fury is going, it's his own battle. 
And I think this could be. I don't think this is only going to be like one show. I think this could start branching. Like, I don't think it's going to be wrapped up at the end of the series. I think there could be a lot more to the story once it ends. And this is just like the prologue to the entire Secret Invasion story where Nick mm-hmm. Fury finally knows enough of what's going on to try to find people he can trust to help him. You know, it's funny, Dave, that you mentioned like whole Andor situation because... I do feel very similar to when uh, the first Andor trailer dropped, and I was uh, when we were originally talking about it, and I was just like, hmm, I don't know, I'm not really, uh, I'm not really convinced. I don't know if it's going to be that good. And it wasn't until that final trailer dropped when all of a sudden I'm like, oh, hold on, okay, maybe this will be good. So if Keith is right, if they do end up dropping another teaser, another trailer, or something. Maybe, you know, uh, a month or or whatever before the show finally comes out. Maybe that'll be the thing that, uh, that, you know, finally pulls me in. But, yeah, right now I'm just slightly above average as far as, like, you know, I'm higher than a 5, but about 6.5, I'd say. It's kind of where my hype level's at. It's like, uh, okay, you know, it's probably going to be all right. I'll watch it. I'll enjoy it, most likely. I always love a good uh, Samuel L. Jackson. It always helps when he's in a project. Yeah, a spy story done well is awesome. And it looks like they have all the makings of it. Once again, we don't have enough to make a good guess, but I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt here. And Yeah, Fatherly Phantom said that final trailer was fire for Andor. Yes, it was. Mm -hmm. As was the show. I cannot wait for season two. That that final trailer was what I was like, Okay, I'm going so, to enjoy the show. This is going to be so good. <laughs> I still had, I was still very skeptical going into that first show. Randor. I'm not skeptical mm-hmm. on this. Maybe that's going to be my downfall. Maybe I'm like, maybe I got I'm going to be expecting too much out of it. Maybe I should just reel it in. Well, I'm wondering is it because you and Keith have that experience with having read all of the comics and knowing so much about you know, the the Secret Invasion story arc, or is that what's going into your expectations for this uh, series? Actually, See, well, the basic storyline, yeah, but what I've seen with, like, when they stood up and they all turned into scrolls behind them, that, that's the one that gives me goosebumps. You know, that's the scene of, like, oh, this is going to be good. And right now, I don't think this is going to be anything like the comic, except for the no. I honestly think this is going to be its own contained story. It's going to be, you know, because we've already learned that we we know there we have some friendly scrolls like Talos and his wife and some of other Fury's buddies. And this is going to be what I think is going to happen. What could happen? Here we go. Theory Theory Palooza time for Secret <laughs> Invasion. I think that there is going to be a group of scrolls because mm-hmm. remember I was watching Captain Marvel again the other day. Why? And, just kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> One, I enjoy the movie, and two, I like I like too. to I rewatch kidding. stuff. But they said we will find you a new home world. What if they are finally sick of waiting and say, you know what, we were mm. promised way back in the nineties you were going to find us a home world. You know what? Shield Shield has been using us. We've been sitting here working for the Earthlings. They kept telling us they're going to give us a home world, and they never did. Half of us were dusted during the whole Thanos thing. <laughs> so where has Captain Marvel been if she hasn't been helping him find a, find a new world? We don't speak her name. <laughs> <laughs> well, she probably was trying to help and trying to find stuff, but, you know, with all the chaos going on with Thanos and then after that everybody coming back, you know, the, the galaxy is a pretty busy place. And so, unfortunately, maybe that didn't get highest priority. And there is going to be a group of scrolls who are like, you know what? We're done. We're, we, we found a planet we like, and you know what? We're going to take it over. That, that's just my opinion. I, who knows if that's going to actually happen, but I, I no yeah, longer I think... That's, been, that's a 27-year difference. She had 27 years to find them a, a, their own world. So I think <clears> she did. Well, and oh, if, God, has it been that long? <laughs> Since the 90s? Jeez. Yeah, I know. Isn't that terrible? It hurts. <laughs> <clears throat> so here's, here's the, my thing 
Yeah. Here's my thing with Marvel. What big bad is coming first? Which timeline do I need to pay attention to more? Like, do the Scrolls and Kang somehow mix? I the Scrolls yeah. and Kang do not mix. They don't but, mix. Bow, chicka, bow, wow. But, you know, we can have Kang kind of doing his thing. You know, we know he's going to show up in Loki Season 2. I'm sure he's going to show up in a few other projects leading up to Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars. Where the scrolls can kind of be, you know, not every movie leading up to Infinity War was about Thanos and the rings. We can have little side stories. And, you know, right now, Nick Fury's rings. not going to have a lot to do. Or the, did I say the rings? Yeah, you did. <laughs> I, meant, <laughs> I meant the stones, yes. So, you know, we can have other plot threads going. And it, this doesn't have to be wrapped up by the time Kang Dynasty or... Mm you know, Infinity War, or like, oh my God, or Secret Wars comes into play. So this could be an underlying thing going through for many years, which I hope they well, do, because I don't want them to rush through it. You look at this phase two, that didn't have, um, that wasn't centered around Thanos, you know, we had Age of Ultron. So you can have other kind of big bads in between you get to the very big bad. It's possible. And honestly, you know, I like the fact that if they are doing this grounded thing with Wilson Fisk as the mayor mm -hmm. of New York, with the more grounded her heroes, you know, Daredevil, Spider-Man, maybe White Tiger, if the Jenna Ortega, White Tiger, you know, I've, theories I've of Punisher. I've been wanting that for a while now. Uh, back when we were first uh, theorizing about uh, No Way Home, um, I, I have wanted to see more grounded things in, in the MCU, and I've wanted to see Wilson Fisk as a street level big bad for a good while because in the comics he is he can be a force to be reckoned with like he may not have a bunch of superpowers but his superpowers having a lot of influence and a lot of money and being able to make people do whatever that it is that he wants them to do and i think it was your theory that said it was fisk that bought avengers tower that's what i thought and that could be because we don't know. I still think that we are going to find out in Born Again, or Echo, I should say, because Echo, we're supposed to get Daredevil and Kingpin and Echo, mm -hmm. that Daredevil was dusted and Kingpin was not. So when Daredevil comes back, mm. Kingpin has had that five years to rebuild an empire, and it's going to be like... That would be crazy. Oh my God, you're kidding me. <laughs> this guy's this? No. Right, a mayor Fisk. Also, I really like Hawaiian shirts. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a child, I'll be right back. We respected uh -oh. our Come mayors. On. He's got to go feed the squirrels. Oh no! The real he's going. He's going to get blue milk. He's having a relapse. <laughs> but you know, a little while ago. Uh, Finally, Fandom talked about his excitement for Captain America 4, uh, New World Order. And it has been, you know, a lot of things that are coming out about New World Order have been pretty exciting. You know, we found out supposedly the Celestial at the end of Eternals is going to be made out of adamantium. And adamantium? so all adamantium, yes. Is he going to sing? So adamantium? all adamant is going to don't drink, don't smoke. What do you do? Don't drink. Goody, 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 and the rumors yeah. are that he is going to Hulk out. And we know that the leader, uh, Samuel Stearns, is going to be one of the villains. And I do got a good feeling that he's going to be the one. Because we saw him, you know, experimenting on gamma, you know, Bruce Banner's gamma-rated blood. He's going to be the one who turns Ross into a Hulk. And I think we could get, you know, She-Hulk coming back to help in this fight. Liv Tyler is coming back. We don't know how big her role is going to be. But she was spotted on set of New World Order. So there is a well, lot going on in this. Not, not, he, 
I mean, people think he's going to be in it, but nothing's been confirmed with him yet for this. But, I mean, it would make sense if he was in there. If the leader is experimenting, creating new hulks, you would think that, you know, Tim Roth is going to be back as the abomination. Because we may even get... a lot grittier than he was in the She-Hulk series, though. Oh, it would. Yeah, he couldn't be laid back like he was on there. Something would have to trigger him. Yeah. Terrible game. TG. Yeah, TG is here. Always a pleasure, young man. You know, we got this. All of all of Captain America four could be leading into like a World War Hulk movie, along with you know the Thunderbolts plot line. So this could have a lot going on that's leading towards a lot going on post Phase five. You know, Thunderbolts with them getting at adamantium. Adamantium. God, I can't say that word. Adamantium. Adamantium. Just think of and, a second. Yeah, <laughs> Adam Antium. That, yeah. that helps. Thank you, Dave. Adam Antium. <laughs> but <laughs> it's going to lead to a lot. And then, you know, we got so many people. They're finally, you know, bringing people back from The Incredible Hulk, which was what, 2009? 2010? No, I think it was 2008, actually. Same year as Iron Man. Oh, I think you're right. You're right. So this has been, you know, 15 years ago. They're bringing these actors back. So. It's going to, oh yeah, TG, definitely go watch it. It dropped at about, well, it dropped about a half hour ago. Uh-oh, oh, Sierra's so almost at a thousand coins. <laughs> Who's she going to get? I, I think it's going to be you. Are you talking to Doug? No, I'm talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Sierra's almost at a thousand coins, Doug. Who do you think it's going to be? Keith. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> of course, now that we, we were said just that, talking. she's watching. she probably change it. Yeah, don't do what they tell you, Sierra. Make your own decisions. Don't be bossed about by your dad and Doug. <laughs> <laughs> do it. <laughs> but while you were gone, Doug, we were talking a little bit about Captain America 4 and all of the stuff going on with that because mm-hmm. Liv, Liv Tyler was spotted on set. Oh, that's awesome. We know that uh, Samuel Stern's actor, I can't remember his name, is coming back as the leader. I'm a, I'm a huge Liv Tyler fan. Yeah, Liv Tyler's going to come back as, as uh, oh, I can't remember her name. That would have been funny. From the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> as the elf it lady. <laughs> but in in the comics, too, Liv Tyler, Liv Tyler, oh my God, Betty Ross becomes a She-Hulk also. Of course. So we may not just get Thaddeus Ross's, you know, Red Hulk. We may get Betty Ross's Red She-Hulk. And they could go just, like I said, we lead down one road with World War Hulk, or at least some sort of version of it. And then we get the Thunderbolts, who are, you know, working for Val. If they get a hold of that adamantium, I said adamant, and then Tium. I got it. I finally got it down. Oh, yeah. So, so yeah, I mean... There could be well, so much coming out of this that has got me extremely excited, but also a, t- a wee bit worried that they're going to try to cram too much in it because I know this is, you know, Sam Wilson's first movie as Captain America, so they're going to want to make it, you know, groundbreaking, huge, and everything else. And I worry when they want to do that, they cram way too much stuff into it. It's going to be yeah. rushed and borderline incoher- incoherent. I don't want that. And they don't have a they don't have an origin story to go over because they've already gone over it. He's been in several movies with his origin, so they just got to just drive dive right into the plot, and that might yeah that might tempt them too much to add extra villains or extra characters that they don't have time for. So will uh, will this also be our first uh, appearance of um, Harrison Ford as uh, General Ross? Yep. As far as we know. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Excuse me. But he did sign a multi-picture deal. So the rumor is that he is going to be in Captain America, New World Order, and Thunderbolts. You know, this is something that Lucasfilm could learn from the MCU. It's okay to recast somebody. You do not have to create some sort of CGI monstrosity. <laughs> Somebody passed. It's okay. Hey, Doug, the CGI people need to feed their families too. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, uh, 
about two weeks ago, I went back and I watched uh, uh, Rogue One, and I was like, oh, God, I forgot how terrible, um, uh, what's his name, Tarkin looked. Like, he, he, he stands out. He looks like a cartoon surrounded by living people, and it's like... He looks, he looks better on the Bad Batch. He does. He does. He does on the Bad Batch. <laughs> yeah, they would have they would have done it would have been better off to just recast him. Yeah. Now it's funny because I did like at the end of that that they had uh Carrie Fisher's daughter like sort of stand in for her and they did it over. That yeah. looked much better, but you're right. They could have definitely recast Moff Tarkin. He was mm-hmm. Moff by then. He was no longer governor. Uh he was a uh, Grand Moff by that point. Oh Rogue yeah, One. yeah, you're right. Yep, you're right. Not high magistrate. Was... <laughs> 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 <I can't. laughs> That's great. And, uh, wh- and while I we're on to end in time, Stan could have totally played Luke. I, I totally agree. Oh, I agree with that too. Yeah. There was a rumor, not from a, a reliable source in any way, that Karen Gillian, Dave's Dave's girl. And Doug's girl, you got both in pictures with her, is going to play Mara Jade. And the hmm. reason I bring that up... Because she's got red hair? Yeah. Well, well, yes, that, that too. <laughs> but the other part of that rumor was that Sebastian Stan is going to play Luke in the movie. Hmm. Oh, really? Now? now, this came from a pretty unreliable source we that we know of. It was me. No, it wasn't. It wasn't that. I wouldn't even repeat their their rumors. They're so far out there. I just, I just don't know. I mean, I want them to bring Mara Jade in. Me wanting them to bring that character in from those books that I absolutely enjoyed is something I want. So every time I see something like that, I'm like, oh, I hope that's true. But no, no one else is talking about it. You know, it's easy for like we could easily go. You know, what? we have a theory, so let's put it out there that we have an inside scoop. Yeah. And we know what's going on. And well, it's Emergency easy to do that. Awesome he... already has the trailer. So come on. They do. They do. They do. I saw it earlier today. That's another. I, I don't get how the, how the heck people watch that. Who clicks on that thinking? Oh, yeah. Of course the uh, the brand new um, Avengers Kang Dynasty trailer dropped. And this is the only channel that has it. <laughs> and they get like 200,000 views on that crap. Oh. I don't understand don't get it. it. Do not get I it. don't get it. I just really hope it's all new views. Like, nobody is subscribed to them, and every time they're, tra- they're watching, like, oh, my God, how are these people so far ahead of everybody? And then it <laughs> right. never comes true, and they're, like, too yeah. oblivious to realize. Well, then again, you know, they the Daredevil Born Again trailers they posted a couple weeks ago, by the time Daredevil Born Again comes out, they will have forgotten what Emergency <laughs> Awesome yeah. has put out, so... Yeah. And don't forget to hit us up at Twitter, leave a comment down below, and we will see you next time on Not Your Status Quo.